All right, hey, good morning, it's Nathan. Just wanted to let you know, got the COVID vaccine yesterday. Let's talk about it. All right, so welcome back. Hi, this is Nathan with Caskey Adventures. As you know, I got a room on one of the first cruise ships to sail in 2021. I'm really excited about that. In order to get on the ship, there's a few things that I have to do. One of which is to get the COVID vaccine. Uh, firstly, I really wasn't all that excited about getting the COVID vaccine. Uh, I know there's a whole lot of controversy, so feel free to um, leave me a comment below and talk about the third arm that I'm gonna probably grow. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a requirement right now for going on cruises. And so Royal Caribbean is requiring that everyone be vaccinated for these cruises coming up in June. I'll be going on the June 26th cruise of Adventures of the Seas out of Nassau. Super excited about that, I can't wait. So the requirement for having a COVID vaccine obviously was told to me by my travel agent. All right, so I was a little worried about the regulations for the COVID vaccine here in South Carolina. Um, the regulations are a little tricky. Uh, they, they're rolling out the COVID vaccine in phases and they're giving it to first responders first and then to old people over the age of 55 and then uh, you know they, they kind of go on from there I, I was actually the the last group so being the last group i wasn't actually supposed to be able to get this vaccine until may 3rd and i was a little worried because you have to wait one month and 14 days from getting the vaccine in order to be able to cruise and the cruising in June, that was gonna cut it pretty close. So I went and started looking up some places that you know, uh, offered the vaccine. So what I found was that uh, CVS was like fully booked. I, I looked all over the place, like within a hundred miles. And so CVS pretty much was a no-go. I would have had to dr drive like two hours in order to get to the appointment and then, you know, have the, the, the appointment have to go again. Of course, you have to get two shots and so the second vaccine would have to be one month later so also so i went and looked up on the uh the cdc website and there are some really great resources as far as where you can go to get the covid vaccine and that's what i did so i looked up uh, a whole bunch of different places turns out that the Publix grocery store here in my city was offering the covid vaccine and they had absolutely no wait so i went ahead and signed up all right, so I signed up for the COVID vaccine at Publix grocery store, which I thought was a little weird, uh, but they gave me a date like right away, which was really awesome. Um, and so I, uh, I got my date and it was actually gonna be for today, um, but they gave me a call. I got a call from one of the pharmacists yesterday saying that they had some cancellations, asking if I wanted to come in and get it a day early. So I was like, yeah, of course. I'll go ahead and come in and get it a day early. And they said, as long as you can be here before nine o'clock when the store closes, then we'll go ahead and get you that COVID vaccine. So I did, and I came in and it was really fast. Actually, they were very, very efficient. I walked straight up to the counter, told the guy my name, gave him my, my ID, my license, confirmed my name and address, and my vaccine was right there ready for me. Um, I think the whole process took like five minutes. It was really easy. Now, I'm not a big fan of needles, so I didn't really want to look um, as they, they stuck it in my arm, but it, it was really fast and it didn't even hurt. It was, I could hardly even feel it. It was, it was really easy. Now, after getting the COVID vaccine, they did have me sit down in a chair uh, right there in the Publix for about 10 to 15 minutes, just to make sure. They said that sometimes people get a little dizzy or lightheaded and they just want to make sure that you know you're okay to drive so after about 10 or 15 minutes of sitting there and researching stuff that i want to do on my cruise i was able to leave and they gave me a little packet of information i'll show you what that looks like it's got my vaccination card on it already with the first dose a little sticker and i'm going to be able to take that with me on the cruise and that's going to be my ticket to get on the ship well i mean Obviously, besides the real ticket, it's going to be <laughs> the, the ticket that's going to get me on the ship. And so I'm excited about that because you do have to actually have that physical vaccination card 
in order to show Royal Caribbean that you've been vaccinated and then you can get on the ship. I have just got my COVID vaccine yesterday and yeah, my arm's a little sore. It feels kind of like the flu shot. So not bad at all. Um, I'm feeling fine, I'm not growing any kind of third arm or anything. Um, I've got to wait now for 30 days for my next shot and uh, that will be right at the end of April. Then I'm gonna have 14 days to wait until the, I can go on a cruise. So thankfully my, uh, my cruise isn't until June 26th. I'll be on the third sailing in 2021 uh, from North America. So extremely excited about that, can't wait to show everybody what's going on. Um, and I'll be with you, of course, through this whole COVID vaccine process and let you know how it is. So far, absolutely no sweat, loving this, and I uh, can't wait to cruise again. See ya. Keep, stay tuned for more cruise videos. I'm gonna get this right this time. It's on the left, right down here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, hit that little bell for notifications and for more videos about cruising, take a look there and there um, and possibly there, wherever it shows up. For more cruise videos, until next time, this is Nathan with Caskey Adventures. Peace out.